my people, it's your man. Today we're gonna take a look at the tops. El Shetty. First we'll go over the technical specs. Overall length, 17 and a half inch. The blade is 12 inch. The weight's 29 and a half ounces. The steel is a quarter of an inch thick, full tank construction, as you can see. And that is 1095 carbon steel. Uh, it's got like a high saber grind, I would say. And the retail is 300 bucks, but you can usually find them for around $210. Give you a couple close-ups of this thing. Like I said, it is full tank construction. Dual lanyard holes. You got your bow divots on each side. Now this might be kind of a ch it's kind of big. I guess you could, but I'm not that skilled at that, so I wouldn't try that. Big finger choil right there. Now it is a little square, so I'm wondering if that's going to hurt a little bit with stabs. Then that's kind of big as well. I guess if you got giant hands, but I could almost, you see what I'm saying? It's kind of like, I don't know, we're going to have to test this thing and see how it goes. Balance point is about right about there. Now the sheath is pretty freaking cool. Kydex sheath. Got this nice sling that goes with it. Let me take it off so I can show you. So the sheath looks pretty heavy duty. Nice Kydex. Couple eyelets down there. Drainage hole. It's got a nice dangler. Leather with a big old loop. Snap for the retention. I think that is leather. Looks like it. Feels like it. So you see how it's open on the top like that. So you just got to pull it out a little bit. Lift up and out. Check for rattle. This might be kind of tough because it has all this stuff on it. But if I hold that still. There is like no movement, no rattle, just this. But yeah, so the sheath is definitely good. Well, I don't know if this is a factory edge. It might be. Got to say thanks to Chris, Prepared Mine 101, for letting me borrow his blade. Let's check out and see how controllable this thing is. Even a big blade can be controllable. You know, it's just more practice. That's all it is. Take your time. Seems pretty darn sharp. Seems pretty controllable. But like I said, look where my hand is. I don't know. It's kind of a weird size, you know what I'm saying? I'll try to just stay in that groove. So it's, the sharpness is definitely high. Pretty controllable, you know, a little bit unwieldy, a little heavy. Man up, Tack. I know, I know. The sharpness is definitely good. Next, let's see how this thing chops a little bit. Now, I never chop on live trees, but there's sometimes you just gotta do it. I'm at my one bug out spot and I got this little white birch behind me. I don't know if you can see that, but unfortunately it got like all bent right over in an ice storm. So there was two, one already came down. So this one's gum coming down. So let's hack on it a little bit and I'll just use it for firewood. See how the handle is, see if we get shock, see if we get slippage, anything like that. And see how this thing performs as well. Now this is green, like I said. Definitely biting nice. No slippage so far. Not bad, no shock. Right, this thing's gonna end up taking this damn tree down. Definitely hits freaking hard. A lot of a lot of mass. Do a little bit of uh, scoot all the way down. Not quite three finger action, but just scoot down to that spot. Oh yeah, I can feel more power now. Uh-oh. 
Hear some crackling. This thing might be coming down soon. Okay, I'm getting tired. Don't smoke cigs, kids. Bad for you. Oh. oh, I hear some crackling. It's moving. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. Come on, fall down. Right, a couple more hits. There she goes. I'm gonna hold you guys, watch out. Woo, Tim friggin' Burr. Next, let's try a little bit of batoning. Got about a six inch piece of uh, yellow birch. Yellow birch is tougher than you think it is. It's some pretty stringy shit. Well, I got more than enough real estate with this blade. Unfortunately, my chopping stand, I chopped it up, used it for firewood. So let's see how this goes. Wow. This is some solid stuff. I think I need a better baton. Yeah, a little bit bigger baton. I don't know if this is gonna be easy enough to hold on to, but let's try it. Nope. Okay, back to the old baton. Now well, she's doing it. No, there you go. No shock through the handle. Nothing like that. Split it up some more. Let's try just cleaving this thing in half. Wow, no problem. Try that once more. Got a piece of red maple this time, a little bit bigger. Man, it's easier just to chop it in half than freaking baton it. I mean, even a half-hearted swing like that. One more time, even bigger piece. I think this one is oak. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, wow, okay, yep. Boy, that really stuck in. What a difference in wood, you know what I'm saying? Wow, yeah. This shit is a lot tougher, holy crap. I wonder if it's because it's kind of knotty right there too. One more try. Wow, that's like hitting a brick wall. Okay, can't give up yet, come on, Jack. Man, it's getting there. This thing does have a lot of freaking mass though. Definitely a mean chopper. Almost. If I flip it over, it should just go. Let's give her a flip. See if we can stand up for me. See if we can just finish her off. Let's take a quick close up and see how the edge looks. Edge held up well, no blemishes, no nicks, dings, rolling over, nothing. Uh, the finish held up really well. I mean, it's almost like a, I don't know, stone wash kind of look. So it really hides any of the little scuffs or anything. So this thing, you hit it with some oil and it's gonna look brand new. Uh, the sheath is freaking awesome. I like the sheath a lot. I like the handle, but the only thing about the handle I don't really like is what I was saying in the beginning. This, it's not really sharp, but it's a sharp angle, you know? And I don't like it when they go short with the micarta. I think they should always go full length with it, but just that's just me. You might not like that. This might be okay with you. Uh, the bow divot, divot holes, <laughs> kind of unnecessary on a monster like this, but hey, to each your own. So would I recommend it for the 200 bucks? It's definitely worthy. Quarter inch thick, 1095. You know, tops, they got a lifetime warranty. Can't go wrong there. So if you need a big chopper, this thing is freaking sick. One to 10, I'd probably give this thing an eight and a half. As always, good to see you guys. And until the next time we meet.